Christian is an orthodontist all the way from Virginia, and he's been suffering for six years with neck pain, vertigo, TMJ, left ear pressure, just the gamut. And you always ask me, why do these people come so far to come see you? Well, this guy has seen multiple chiropractors over multiple states. He's seen tons of specialists, ENTs to a neuroaudiologist, and nobody could help him. He's watched my channel for two years, and he goes, let's give this guy a try. Came out for one week. I'm going to let you see what we can do for him, and it is a miracle. Again, a doctor getting treated in my office. Here's some range of motion stuff we did on him, and I showed this video before and after of his TMJ. You can see it, the before and after, unbelievable. We took x-ray of, uh, x-rays of him, and his neck is messed up. You can see the reverse curve. Let's go! So I started uh, with multiple symptoms in 2013, as you said. Um, and the mainly, symptoms were all neck pain, headaches, vertigo. Exactly, jaw pain, mainly the uh, fullness in my left ear, headaches, stiffness right here in, in my neck, shoulders, and that's pretty much. I've been through a lot of specialists, but. Yeah, how many uh, specialists? I mean, you can't even count them all. But we talked about uh, ENTs, he's been a specialist, he's been to um, MDs, neurologists, probably some orthopedic surgeons, I'm just gonna guess some of these things. He even went to a guy I've never heard of, a neuroaudiologist, which is an ear specialist neurologist, which I didn't even know existed, so another wasteful medical uh, degree out there. Multiple chiropractors, acupuncture, um, physical therapists. Six years of crap, Zippo help. He's gotten only worse over the years. Okay, how long have you watched my channel? At least. Two years. So why are you so stupid? Wake up frequently. And how, you, how do you feel in the morning? Tired, refreshed? Not tired. Feel tired. Yeah. For the last six years, right? He also has TMJ. And so if you watch him talk, you can also see how his articulation of his words is difficult because of the jaw pain. He actually kind of talks out of the side of his lip a little bit. And so that's a, that's a physical manifestation of what's going on inside. Pain, tension in your back? No. Good. Go ahead and go back like this. Pain, tension in your back? Yes. And on a scale of one to ten, what is that? Five. Five. Put your arms down, go ahead and look at the floor, please. Pain or tension in your neck? Yes. What is that? Six to seven. Six to seven, right? Look at the ceiling. How about that? Eight to nine. Eight to nine, look straight ahead. Now tell us about, do you have a headache at all right now? Yes. On a scale of one to ten, what is that headache? Nine, ten. Nine, ten. Nine, ten? Yes. Oh my gosh, okay, I didn't even know it was that bad. His x-rays, his x-rays have reverse neck curve, which is pretty significant, which is why he's here. I mean, it's pretty simple, it's straightforward x-ray. Okay guys, four millimeter right imbalance and seven millimeter right lower shoulder. Here we have two millimeter right short leg, two millimeter pelvic rotation. Here's the bad stuff, hard neck reversal here, one half atlas wear and bone hook off the back of the skull. Very light, mild arthritis and some mild constipation. So how did you pick my channel over all the other stupid chiropractors on YouTube? What did, what, what did I do that attracted you to my office in Southern California? Was it the weather? <laughs> no, the Jasmine? Just, actually, just <laughs> oh yeah, just came. Uh, your videos came like uh, my YouTube, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I but you watched watching. all those guys online too, right? Yeah, I watched a couple, but you were the most uh, accurate and okay. popular cool. and cool, cool, and cool. Oh, wow! You don't have to just say that because I'm going to treat you in a second. His reverse curve is pretty straightforward. It's pretty significant. We call it a kyphotic curve. Good. Okay, so uh, what is the reality of that versus what you watch on my YouTube channel? Does it feel the way you thought it would feel? More. More? How is it more, sir? It's totally a lot of anxiety come here because you've been looking for the solution for a lot of years, huh? Yes. Yeah, so it's it's a it's a double-edged sword. You're really stoked to be here, but a little nervous and Yeah. Cool. That was great. Good. Now was that different than your other experiences with chiropractic? Hundred percent. Okay, helping Christian up because he has vertigo, making it easy for him. But the interesting thing is, why is he wearing that skull cap? Not for fashion. Let's find out why he wears it. It's kind of interesting. You guys, ask him why he wears that skull cap. Well, it's actually because... Good question. That's what he's going to say. 
Um, I'm it curious. It's interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it makes me feel a little better, uh, you know, because of my headaches. So I've been wearing a beanie for for a while because it makes me feel a little better. Interesting. I never heard that before, so I thought that was interesting. So my vision is brighter. Um, a little lighter. Good. Just like he said, and he said that he said this to me. He goes, "All your patients say you're lighter after the adjustment." Um, <laughs> yeah, it's lighter and like bright. Everything looks bright. It's amazing. Okay, Christian, keep your arms at your side. Look straight ahead. You're gonna recalibrate by walking down the hall. Take your time. I'll see you on the other side. Just feel lighter. Just to come in. A little less pressure in my left ear. Already opening up, huh? Yes. How many years has that been clogged in that left ear? Six years. And it's already changing. Are you looking for both? What else? A little less tension in my left side. Um, and the vision, it's pretty bright. Okay. Okay. So cool, huh? Very cool. So far, so good. No pain there, right? No. Okay, I'll go back like this. You had some tension here on this one. How much tension? Down? Yeah. Like five minutes ago? Three. Three? Gotcha. Put your arms down. Look at the floor of your neck. That was a seven, I think, or something like that. Five. Five. Look at the ceiling. That was a nine, eight, nine, I think you said. Five? Yeah. Gotcha. So overall, some improvement, right? Yes. Thank you so much. What about his headache? Oh, I'm sorry. Good. Good, 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 good. Can't right. calorie. It was a nine, right? A minute ago, or it was a nine or a ten or something? Two, five. So you just cut your headache in half. Well, it has been a great experience. Um, I've noticed a lot of changes during these five days. Um, I will kind of change this place. Yeah, so my main concern or problem was uh, the headaches, uh, the pressure in, on my left ear, uh, neck pain, back pain, and everything has improved. It's all improved. Yes. Uh, Doc, give us a percentage how much improved over the week. So everybody kind of knows what, what's going on here. Yeah, at least the headaches, at least uh, 60 to 70%. Uh, ear fullness, 50%, um, neck pain, 60 to 70%. So there's a lot of... A lot of hope here, right? Uh, yes. Dizziness, how's the dizziness? So it was daily dizziness all the time. Yeah, better. Better too? Yeah, improved. Adjusted them all week and he's been doing better. Sleeping better, right? Yes. Everything's better, but this adjustment this morning was even better. Trying to do naps for over six years and... You're not joking, by the way. He's not, he's not exaggerating. Oh, he no. was trying oh. to nap. I was trying to force myself to, to have naps, but it was almost impossible. Mm -hmm. And this week, and before when he was trying to nap, guys, it was about uh, studying for hours at a time, being in class for hours at a time, lab for hours at a time. So normally that stuff would make you tired. Of course. And you go, I wish I could take a nap so I could study later, right? Or, right, exactly. To catch up. He's doing shit this week. He's come out here picking his nose, walking the beach, <laughs> going to the mall, and you're napping. That's great. <laughs> Different than the laying down adjustments. Very, Give people very different. Very different. How does it? What is it? Just give us your rundown of what you think it feels like. It feels so good. And I want you guys to uh, look at his posture as he walks down the hall. How changed it is versus the first time he walked down the hall in the previous video. Yeah, so much different. That first time he walked, he was like this. He was like bouncing around the hall. I, you were like, I mean, I, the first video, you got to rewind because it's he was he couldn't even like walk straight. And his arms were like, I mean, he was doing all these twisty things. I don't remember that. Yeah, I'm looking at you now. You look like you're boring now because you're just like walking all relaxed. But anyways, he's doing the right thing. Thank you so much for the video. Thank you really, so much. Uh, for good luck in um, your practice too. Uh, took this guy from Virginia. He's going to be uh, the best... Uh, 
orthodontist out there. Thank you so yeah, much. Yes, good. So I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys.